Hi, it's been a while. In my last video, I was checking out Santa Barbara for the first time. Since then, I have moved. To Ventura. Followed by a long winter with a whole lot of rain. So this is my apartment. And based on the thousands of emails I've received asking for this video, I know the internet is just dying to see it. Behind me here is my main showcase collector shelf. When you walk into the apartment, this would be the first thing that you would see. Highlights the best of my DC, Marvel, and MCU collection. Topped off here, both literally and figuratively, with this Star Wars Deco light. And in that direction is the living room area over there. I'm a really big fan of Star Wars. And if you don't know that about me, then you're not paying close enough attention. But here's a fun fact though. Return of the Jedi happens to be my personal favorite Star Wars movie out of all 11 live action movies. Right next to it here is this Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi green lightsaber, which happens to also be my favorite lightsaber in the entire Star Wars saga. And then over here we have three Flash posters. And then right here I got my partially vintage stuffed animal collection. 80s, 80s. I mean, Mario been an icon since day one. He's still having his biggest year ever <laughs> with the Mario movie. But you know, this is a throwback Teddy Ruxpin doll from when I was a kid. This is E.T. and I got two Baby Yodas. I got two more over here with a Slimer. And then I got an NES Advantage. It's not plugged into anything, but makes a nice aesthetic. So the theme of my apartment is a mix of 80s and 90s throwback mixed with the best of today is what we're, is what we're going for. Coming this way, we have our hallway area. Kitchen, bathroom, bedroom. And right here on this wall is a uh, very limited edition copy of the Flash pilot episode script. And then if we go this way, this is the bedroom. TV, bed, lighting, and uh, plenty of closet space happening here. Got this Nintendo Power poster mounted behind me on the wall. That used to come with Nintendo games that were made by Nintendo themselves. There's probably millions and millions of them printed. I don't even know how I got that, but anything that makes me think of the 80s, I'm all about. And so down here we have another Baby Yoda, an R2-D2 bank. Doesn't have any money in it though. Tells you everything you need to know about me right there. Apple TV and an NES. Coming through this door here, we have restroom. And the great thing about being single and living alone is that you can hang whatever you want in your, in your bathroom. Like uh, this reprint of the original Star Wars poster or this Last Action Hero classic poster that I get to see every time I come in here. Coming out of the bathroom and going in this direction takes us to the kitchen, past the X-Files poster on the right to the desk work area. So this is my collector's corner here. You'll notice Star Wars on one side, music on the other side. We have uh, an original one of a kind hand-drawn picture of Princess Leia from Star Wars. This is from a girl that I used to date that I don't date anymore. This amazing print right here I got from Star Wars Celebration. This is an original vintage 1983 Jabba the Hutt from Return of the Jedi. I got this at Frank and Sons Collector Show in City of Industry, California. And I made another YouTube video about that, which you'll find on my channel. This bad boy right here is an original 
Star Wars Episode One: Darth Maul, still in the package, introduced before the movie came out in 1999 at a retail value of $9.99. Today, over 20 years later, appreciated to the retail value of maybe $9.99, if I'm lucky. Probably not. Then if we turn this way, over here we got uh, the uh, defining New Metal Era album, Limp Biscuits, Chocolate Starfish, and Hot Dog Flavor Water. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And this right here is autographed merch that I got from their, from their concert that I went to in May of last year. Funny thing is, I saw this at a distance when I walked up to the merch table, when I was walking up to the merch table at their show, and I glanced at this autographed print, and I was like, I will pay $100 for that right now, is what I was willing to pay. And I walked up, and it only cost $30. So I bought it immediately. And then I had to hold it for the entire show while I was jamming out, because they wouldn't let me put it in my car. And somehow made it to the mosh pit, and here it is today. And this is... uh. The insert from Kanye's graduation album, Defining Hip Hop at its best. So right here is where I play music from. And I actually collect vintage CDs. The most recent one I bought was The Offspring, Americana. This kid is a CD player. This is how we used to play our music back in the 90s before smartphones. Can you believe it? Me neither. These are some of my collector's items. Mace window here just won't stand up no matter how hard I try. So I got to lean up against this box. Most recent one I bought is this Alien versus Predator Alien. Really cool. You know, I always buy these things and I say that I'm going to take them out of the box and put them on display, but then I just never seem to get around to that part. And then down here is my CD collection. And, uh, there's some real gems in here. I got a totally unopened copy of Jay-Z's The Black Album, first print edition from 2003. Totally black inside and out. The CD itself is even black. Gold embossed original copy of Watch the Throne, Jay-Z and Kanye West. Also not open. This right here, Limp Biscuits, Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. Released in October of 2000, went platinum in its first week, has the hit singles Rollin', My Way, and some others. And as far as I'm personally concerned, is the defining record of the new metal era. And this bad boy right here I picked up in Santa Barbara a few months ago from a record store. I walked in, I saw it, and that was it. I was like, sold! I actually don't even own a record player at all, which is why this is not open. I just, I just love the band so much, and I was like, I gotta get this as memorabilia. Original 80s print, Violent Femmes debut album, featuring all their most well-known songs, including Blister in the Sun, Kiss Off, and Add It Up. Add It Up, Add It Up, oh, and Gone Daddy Gone. Great band. If you don't know about them, you should. Over here, we have more collector stuff. I, I recently got this Magic 8-Ball, because I love the 80s. Same reason I got this through Rubik's Cube. Here's some hilarious stuff. All three of these items here related to women that have been in my life at some point. This was given to me by a girl that I used to date that, don't, that I don't date anymore. This was given to me by my dear sweet mom. And this was a gift I bought for a girl. And then the girl ghosted me before I ever gave it to her. So I still have it. Down here we have more collector stuff. Three DeLoreans, a flash hat, and some really awesome hard to get shoes. And then over here we have none other than Emperor Palpatine himself. That's a mask. It's a pretty nice mask. Got it from Walmart, believe it or not. Darth Vader, Boba Fett Slave One, the Infinity Gauntlet, and a Deadpool Funko Pop. That's a quick tour of my apartment, highlighting just a handful of the cool things that I have. I actually have a lot more cool stuff that could be shown in future videos. I'm Jeff Roche. People call me the man strikes again. Thanks for joining me today.